Beasts of Prey, The Hard Truth About Men, by Orna Gadish is a thought-provoking exploration of the darker aspects of male behavior and the societal norms that perpetuate them. Gadish delves into the concept of masculinity, dissecting its roots and implications, ultimately challenging readers to confront uncomfortable truths about the male experience. Throughout the text, Gadish asserts that certain behaviors commonly associated with masculinity, such as aggression, dominance, and a propensity for violence, are deeply ingrained in male culture. She argues that these behaviors are not merely individual choices but are shaped by societal expectations and reinforced through various channels, including media, upbringing, and peer pressure. One of the central ideas Gatish presents is the concept of toxic masculinity. She defines it as a cultural framework that promotes harmful behaviors and attitudes among men. Toxic masculinity, she argues, encourages men to suppress their emotions, equate vulnerability with weakness, and measure their self-worth through displays of power and control. Gadish contends that this societal construct not only harms men but also has far-reaching consequences for women and society as a whole. Gadish draws on a wide range of research and examples to support her claims. She highlights studies that reveal the alarming rates of violence against women and children, often perpetrated by men. She also discusses the role of media in perpetuating harmful stereotypes of masculinity, citing examples from movies, TV shows, and advertising that glorify aggression and objectify women. Through these examples, Gatish builds a compelling case for the pervasive nature of toxic masculinity in contemporary culture. Furthermore, Gatish explores the impact of toxic masculinity on mental health. She argues that the pressure to conform to rigid masculine ideals can lead to emotional suppression and mental health issues among men. This, in turn, can contribute to a cycle of violence and aggression as men struggle to cope with their emotions in unhealthy ways. By emphasizing the importance of breaking this cycle, Gatish advocates for greater awareness of the emotional needs of men and the necessity of providing them with healthier outlets for self-expression. One of the strengths of Gatish's analysis is her willingness to acknowledge the complexity of the issue. She recognizes that not all men conform to toxic masculine norms and that many men actively work against them. However, she asserts that these individual efforts must be accompanied by broader societal changes to effectively challenge and dismantle toxic masculinity. Gatish also discusses the role of feminism in addressing toxic masculinity. She argues that feminism is not an attack on men but rather a movement that seeks to liberate both men and women from harmful gender stereotypes. By dismantling the expectations placed on men to be aggressive and dominant, feminism, in Gatish's view, paves the way for healthier and more fulfilling lives for all individuals. In addition to critiquing toxic masculinity, Gatish offers some recommendations for change. She suggests that education and awareness campaigns are essential tools in challenging societal norms. By teaching young boys to express their emotions and reject violent behaviors, society can begin to shift away from the toxic masculinity paradigm. Gatish also calls for greater media literacy to help individuals critically assess and reject harmful media portrayals of masculinity. While Gatish's analysis is thought-provoking and well-researched, it is not without its potential criticisms. Some may argue that she oversimplifies the issue by presenting toxic masculinity as a monolithic concept, when in reality, there are variations in how it manifests across different cultures and communities. Additionally, critics may contend that her focus on feminism as the primary solution overlooks other important factors, such as economic and social inequality, that contribute to toxic masculinity. In conclusion, Beasts of Prey, 
The Hard Truth About Men, by Orna Gatish offers a compelling analysis of toxic masculinity and its impact on men, women, and society at large. By exploring the roots and consequences of toxic masculinity, Gatish challenges readers to confront uncomfortable truths about the expectations placed on men in our culture. While her analysis may be subject to critique in some areas, it undeniably contributes to the ongoing conversation about gender, identity, and societal change. Ultimately, Gatish's work serves as a call to action for individuals and society as a whole to challenge and redefine toxic masculinity for the betterment of all.